guys are very cute, but you're way too young for me. Okay, let me see. These are all the villains. Excuse me? Oops, sorry. Thank you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> This is one of my favorite episodes from the original series. Oh, this is one of my favorite pieces. <laughs> by Mick Cassidy from Ireland. <laughs> this looks like a comic book. This is really neat. Juan Ortiz. <laughs> I'd eat Galileo cereal myself. Stanley Cho's Teleportation of Mr. Spock from 2015. Glenn Brogan, The Bridge from 2015. This one's really cool. It's so pop culture looking. Oh, this 70s pop art looking. Jonathan Bergeron from Canada. Oh, I've always been a big fan of Q. I know he's not very nice, but I've always found him very charming. Um, oh, and Matt Ferguson's, who's from the United Kingdom, homage to one of my favorite episodes of the original Star Trek. From France, Nicholas Boujon, which I like a lot. This one's super cute. Looks like a cartoon. I love it. It's Anna Maria Jung from Austria, their dead gem. This is one of my favorite pieces. I totally want to try and get this. This is Tom Whalen from the US. Oh, wow, that's really neat. It's a graphic. And this one's from Dave Quiggle out of the U.S. Another Spock with a kitty. I never thought of Spock as being a cat person. I thought of him as being a Shiba Unu dog type of guy. And Andrew Wilson from the U.S. This one's really fun. I don't know why, but it kind of reminds me of um, the Powder Puff Girls. Oh, there's a few more pieces. <gasps> Ooh, cute. This is Mattel Neil Smith Assimilation. Oh, 
Oh, it's made out of Hot Wheels. This is so cool. That one's really cool. The Borg were one of my favorite villains of Star Trek, the next generation. Ah, uh, Spock, I still miss you. This is from Mattel Alton Takayasu from the USA. It's Spock's Ride. Oh, wait, no. This is Mattel Alton Takayasu Spock's Ride. That makes a lot more sense than the poster. This is Mr. Spock and Mr. Spock 2 2015 graphic by Ty Matson. And this is Amir Abu Rome from Austria. My French is not that good anymore, but it's called Homestead and it's 2015 illustration. This is the U.S. Oh, the U.S. Postal Service. I want this. Because I missed the stamp, so I definitely want to get this. We are celebrating Star Trek's 50th anniversary here at San Diego Comic-Con with, of course, the new series on CBS Access only, but also with this art exhibit, which Leonard Nimoy's son put together an homage of the beloved series starring his father. Fine, how are you? This is Joshua Bujish from the USA with the original Star Trek team. This is Derek Charm, 50 Aliens. It's a graphic. It's really cool. Some of them are good, some of them are bad, but all of them are beloved of any Star Trek fan. Star Trek Inception the Cage. This is by Paul Shipper from the United Kingdom. Mark Delfonso from Canada. Boldly go. Oh, look at this first contact Star Trek. Even the frame is artistic. This is by Dan Mumford from the United Kingdom. This is Patrick Conan from France, Revenge is a dish that is best served cold. Gone! Ah. This is the poster where you got to interview the artist. This is Gary Pullen from Canada. Mirror, mirror, one of my favorite when Spock gave into his passions. This is J.K. Woodward from the U.S. A Klingons. I do like Klingons, good or bad, they're always cool. And this is PJ McQuaid from the USA, boldly going. Oh, I like this cubist. Jean Baptiste Rowe, a team and a spaceship. This is from a French artist. Hanya Kim from South Korea did this in homage to Spock. It is an installation. It looks like it's macrame. It's really cool though. This one's really neat. It is Dusty Abel Laverne Kindisky from the USA. And this is Star Trek, the original series 2015. This one I have to get up and close because this one's really cool. I like this one. I even like the frame, it's really neat. Yeah, I'm not sure. So this is Nick Walker from the United Kingdom, Ahura. Sort of looks like a Jesus with a halo around her. It's super cool. Oh, it's spray paint on canvas. This is Nick Barkley from Australia, The Final Frontier, oil on canvas. Uh, the next generation, these are the ones I grew up with. Paul Oz from United Kingdom. It is a painting. The frame is really neat. I assume it's maybe acrylic. 
Let's look at the detail though. This is by Leonard Nimoy himself, Hand Paint and Vulcan Gesture 2015. Oh, I still miss him. This is a Star Trek anniversary by Rocco Molesta from Germany. 50 Live Long and Prosper. This is neat. It's by Maya and by like Christopher Ryan. Phaser set to stunning. It is, of course, Mayam from the Big Bang Theory playing the role of Ama, Amy Farah Fowler, a young Bette Midler. It's so fun. Let's get in close. I love quirky art. This is so fun, I love this one. Even the gold frame is artistic and fun. This is Mark Vihil from Ireland. What are little girls made of? It's a 2015 graphic. Marie Bergeron from Canada, The Arena. A classic that any Star Trek fan knows and loves. This is Johnson Sang from China, looking for a star. He's a Chinese sculptor. And it's a baby in a face, like a baby carriage. This is Dave Merrill from the United Kingdom. Space C, pencil, gaucher, and acrylic, gesso on paper. This one's really neat. This is Ulysses Ferenis. USA and it is untitled. I like pop art. This is Sue Beatrice from the US on the edge of forever. This is Calvin Ma, USA, home is where the journey is, 2015 sculpture. I love the Enterprise. And this is Lynn Norton, fictional Starship display model, USS Bellwether, NX 90866. Ingress class science vessel experimental metawarp propulsion, 2015 sculpture. I would have played with this so hard when I was a kid.